scammed out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm Brandon Rowe in York Region, where today a victim spoke of her shame, frustration, and devastation, hoping her story will serve as a warning for others. Just, uh, angry. Anger is another one. Sorry. You feel angry, really angry. It's hard for Linda to hold back her emotions. She's out $12,000 after a roller coaster four hour phone conversation two months ago. I got a call on my cellular phone with pretense that it was Revenue Canada and that I was being accused of tax fraud. And they gave me the amount and they said um, that the police was going to be coming to arrest me uh, shortly after. She says they had all of her personal information and even though she had her doubts, the fraudster was persistent. They kept telling me, you can't not tell anybody and you have to, you have to do this otherwise you're going to lose all your money and the police will come and arrest you. And that's what she did depositing cash into this Bitcoin machine in Richmond Hill, turning into untraceable online currency. I think I went into shock and I was crying and I could barely speak. The scam is unique for two reasons. The Bitcoin element is one. The other is that the fraudster is using a technique called spoofing, where they are able to alter the phone number on potential victims' caller ID to show York Regional Police, the Canada Revenue Agency, or anything else they want. It hurts us as police or any other government agency, right? That, that it hurts the trust that the public has in us. Uh, for sure. It makes it easier for the scammers to get money out of victims. Linda isn't the only victim. Dozens have been scammed out of a total of upwards of $300,000. The incidents occurred at four Bitcoin ATM machines in York Region. In this security footage, you can see a woman with an envelope filled with cash. She was scammed out of $12,000. Later that day, you can see her husband storms the hasty market in an emotional outburst. He hit and kicked the Bitcoin ATM machine and even allegedly threatened the store owner. The man is now charged with mischief causing damage to property. It speaks to the desperation, it's true. Um, but unfortunately, the, this isn't the way that they're going to get their money back. Police say they will never call you on behalf of the CRA or ask you for money for taxes. If you get a suspicious call, hang up and call police right away. Bitcoin transactions are irreversible. In York Region, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.